Hi, my name is Dr. Anj Singh and I'm an NHS doctor and a media medic. I'm going to take you through a series of common medical questions that people often ask me. In this video, we're going to talk about the treatment of pink eye or conjunctivitis. This is where you get swelling and inflammation of the lining of the eye and eyelid. And symptoms include things such as redness, swelling of the eye itself, pain or itchiness, and sometimes a watery or a sticky discharge. Conjunctivitis can either be caused by viruses or by bacteria, including sexually transmitted infection. It tends to be a particular problem in contact lens wearers or children or in the elderly. Often conjunctivitis doesn't actually require any treatment unless it's severe or in cases where it may be caused by a bug that causes sexually transmitted infections or in babies, in which case it should always be checked out. Treatment of conjunctivitis involves self-care and also medication, and this video is going to take you through both of those options. Firstly, self-care of conjunctivitis involves taking out your lenses and keeping them out until your eyes are better. Make sure that you clean your eyes regularly with sterile water. Ensure that you've got good hand hygiene and you don't end up spreading the infection to your other eye if there's only one eye affected. And you can also get lubricant eye drops available from your local chemist or pharmacist. Moving on to medical treatment for conjunctivitis. Now, when this is essential, it involves the use of antibiotics. For example, medicines like chloramphenicol or fusidic acid. These are only available from a pharmacist or through prescription from your doctor. Use them only if they are absolutely necessary. If you are unsure, then consult a medical professional. They usually come in the form of drops, but in children, particularly small children, ointment might actually be better at staying inside the eye where it needs to be affected. Make sure you use your medication properly and regularly and as directed. And if you've got both eyes affected, you should really have two lots of medication and stick to one lot for each eye. Please, please never share medication for conjunctivitis because it can spread through that. If your signs and symptoms of conjunctivitis are persistent, especially after a week of treatment, then it may be an idea to see your doctor again at that point. If you've got a baby that you feel may be developing signs of conjunctivitis, then you need to see a medical professional as soon as possible. This is purely because babies can sometimes pick up these infections on the way out during childbirth, and that can include bugs that cause sexually transmitted diseases. And that is how you treat conjunctivitis.